things you have to do before tryouts. Let's get right into it. So volleyball tryouts are among us, and there's some top things that you need to do before tryouts. We're gonna go over all of these things in this video, so keep watching. Number one, knowing your tryout date. Number two, making sure you have your physical and all of your paperwork. Number three, picking out your tryout outfit. Number four, make sure to practice the foundational skills. Number five, practice kindness and self-care. Things first, you need to know your tryout date. How do you know when tryouts are if you don't even know what date it is? So go on your computer, look up your school's website and see if you can find out what date it is. Don't assume it's the first day of school or around that time. And don't also assume it's the same day it was last year. You can find it out by looking on your website, emailing the coach or the athletic director. Now, if you've ever played a sport before, you know that you have to get your physical. This is something that's so commonly forgotten. Make sure to get your physical. Some schools have events where they're doing physicals for all the athletes before the school year starts. And if they don't have something like that, you're going to have to go to a doctor. So please check with your parent or guardian to get that done ASAP. Now, several years ago, I told you all to think about a brightly colored shirt when you're trying out for your team. However, in the most recent years, some teams have required a specific shirt that is gray or has a number on it, but we still need to think about something that's gonna make you stand out. So if you can't wear a brightly colored neon shirt, and if you can, great, do that. But if you can't, we wanna think about some other things. Nail polish, long nails can be hesitant, be hesitant about it, a headband, socks, something like that. Now, I did wanna continue this video without mentioning our sponsor, Bellway. I've been outdoors all summer, coaching, playing, all of that. And I've been extremely dehydrated and I wish, I wish I had something so good to drink that would bring me some electrolytes and Bellway did the job for me. Bellway sent me some really great super fiber, super greens and super collagen. And I've worked with them many times before. This time I got super fiber greens, super fiber fruit, and super fiber collagen. And I really, really, really wanted to try the super fiber fruit, especially since it was lemon lime and that's one of my favorite, favorite fruit combos. I'm very, very big on my gut health and making sure that I'm taking care of my digestive health. When I'm outdoors all summer, I need to make sure to stay hydrated and I wanna make sure that I'm utilizing organic materials so that way I can be kind to my body. Volleyball is one of my biggest passions. What better way to take care of myself than something that's real fruit and is so, so good. And I used my favorite mason jar too. It was easy to mix and I was able to use my favorite mason jar. Click the link in the description to get more info on Bellet. All right, it's time for those quick tips and I've given these before, but let's go rapid fire edition. There's an old saying that if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, don't bother. Don't be late to tryouts. Be there early to help set up the net so the coach sees you being coachable. Make sure you have a good attitude while you're at tryouts and show others that you're in generally a good mood. Nobody wants to turn have a frown and you have to turn it upside down. Make sure you're calling mine and telling others you got it in general phrases of encouragement. It'll show the coach you're participating. Even if you miss a serve, you miss a pass, or you miss an attack, let it go. Move forward and move on. Figure out what you're gonna wear and what's required. Try it on the night before so you're comfortable because if you have to make changes day up, it's gonna stress you out. Try to build a foundation, and this is some more no net practice. If you're at home and you have a ball, practice passing to yourself. We wanna make sure that we're utilizing as minimal movement as possible because we wanna keep that platform straight, we wanna stagger those feet, and we wanna make sure that we're cat tossing and passing the ball at a height that's controllable and not without our range. When you start passing the ball and it goes behind you or it's too high, you lose control. So try to pass the ball lower to you, not super teeny, teeny, tiny low, but lower to you so you have control. Remember, you control the ball. The ball does not control you. The next step is to pass it and then set it to yourself and let it drop. 
Pass it and set it to yourself and let it drop. I know that setting can be hesitant for a lot of players. It's a very specialized skill. But like I tell my players I coach every single day, you do not have to be the best setter in the world, but you do need to know how to set. And what better way to learn how to set than to be in a safe space on your own and learning how to do that hand formation and all of that. If you need more references on setting, make sure you check out my playlist, my volleyball tryout playlist or my volleyball tips playlist, and they have some more information on setting. After you work on setting it, I want you to catch it in their setter's hands and push it off. So you can start working on staggering that stance and learning those setter arms. Lastly, I want you to be kind to yourself. I know this is easier said than done. That means taking deep breaths. That means practicing mindfulness. That means writing yourself a nice note. That way you can refer to it later. I want you to be kind to yourself. So let's do some deep breaths together. Breathe in. and breathe out. With everything, I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.